Hi, my name is Shez and uh, you are watching Project Food Garden. Today is again, it's a Sunday, uh, 20th of Feb. Beautiful day after a really, really massive uh, amount of rain that we have received in the last uh, 10 or 11 days. So uh, we are trying to, you know, catch up on uh, all uh, the reviews that we had promised. So right now, uh, we will go and show you the progress that we have had uh, on the black prints. Uh, a lot of plants, as much as they have suffered, we have lost a lot of cherry tomatoes and uh, uh, in the string of all the bad news we have had few varieties that have really stood strong now I've told you in the beginning uh, of the season that uh, Black Prince originates from uh, Siberia so funny enough I said that in the first video that this plant can withhold hot and cold both set of weather so let's go and show you how it has performed So before we take you to um, the Black Prince side, this is the kind of uh, uh, condition that uh, the plants are in right now. So let's come to uh, the Black Prince tomato. Uh, if you wanna, you know, get uh, the background info on this, I did the follow-up video on uh, 6th or 7th of Jan. So you can see it has got one trunk, which is multiplying into other trunks. Now how to, um, uh, train your tomato plant with multiple trunks. I've got uh, multiple stakes as you can see one two three and as soon as the plant would start to grow you would need to chop off these laterals but only when the fruit is developed like that like that and you can see this beautiful cluster so as soon as the clusters are developing I'm taking off the additional uh, leaves that are coming on the plant remember the idea is to grow these not the leaves so you can see there are multiple uh, clusters which are nicely developing on the plant and uh, you can see it is going all the way up top clusters are developing on top of it as well and we have got some clusters up here as well if I move back this has gone uh, well beyond uh, six foot at this point in time and if I give you the side view you can see that it is developing really nice set of fruit it has not started uh, turning black as yet it is maturing nice and slow and uh, I have no qualms over uh, the quality of the fruit it it looks phenomenal I mean if you look at it the color of the fruit is really light uh, green at the start of the life cycle and then when it starts to mature you can see this fruit it's getting a bit of a black tinge on it a lot of leaves are turning this color as you can see because of the rain but there are four plants and all of them they are developing really really nice clusters <clears throat> and the fruiting is going really really well as you can see you will not see a lot of leaves um, I only uh, allow them to be uh, leafy in the initial life cycle this probably would need uh, a good uh, pruning as you can see this lateral would have to go uh, this one would have to go as well as soon as this cluster that you're looking at would develop I would uh, take off this lateral see this cluster is uh, halfway through let me take you to the other angle now from here you can see it's developing a few more tomatoes and the, the total cluster is I guess seven or eight tomatoes once the cluster would completely develop I would chop off this lateral and uh, would probably chop off the other lateral as well as you can see so the main trunk is coming up and you can see this this uh, uh, additional trunk was coming up so I started supporting it so there we have cluster number one cluster number two is developing here there's a minor bit of damage because of the rain as you can see one of uh, the blossom has gone to blossom and drop but not to worry the plant overall I mean this plant has got uh, really good capability to you know deliver on the promise that it's a prolific producer so overall Black Prince has stood really strong during the two cyclones. The fruit even has not split. I mean, the quality of the fruit, if you can take a closer look, it's quite good. 
in no way it has taken any impact of uh, the two cyclones that we had uh, which has resulted in a lot of rain uh, it has stood really really strong so like I said in the beginning uh, of other reviews that this year for us was uh, about uh, testing the varieties rather than the quantity so this has pretty much measured up to be one of uh, the tomato that we will be growing in the future as well take a look really nice beautiful clusters and really good quality fruit really really healthy so it, it it would keep developing these and i think we have got this is an indeterminate variety so i'm expecting this to go all the way up till eight to nine four it's getting there it's producing lots of blossom it's producing it has already produced a lot of fruit so quite happy with uh, the black prince uh, there are multiple varieties of black brands. Now, the one that we have got, it's not uh, one of the beef steak side. It's uh, the normal uh, black brands. But keeping in view the, the performance of this plant, I have decided to procure uh, the other variety of uh, black brands as well. And we will be, you know, adding this to the seed library as well for the future. So, if you have uh, any questions about... Uh, this variety of black prints drop them in the comments i hope you you have equally liked this episode and the ability of this plant to produce let's move on to the conclusion of the video so now you have seen uh, how strong and sturdy uh, this plant is and uh, like i said during the review uh, this would uh, now end up into uh, probably the varieties that we'll do in the future uh, after all that rain, I cannot see one crack in any other fruit. A lot of other fruit has cracked up. Uh, like I said, cherry tomatoes, they were completely annihilated uh, with the rain. But Black Prince has not only stood strong, it has kept fruiting. And I've also shown you how to support uh, your plant with multiple trunks. It, it is so easy. All you need is a good set of long stakes uh, with, with uh, which you can support the plant. And uh, remember, once the cluster develops into the fruit, then chop off uh, the laterals. And uh, it would keep the plant nice and clean. There would not be a lot of laterals for the plants to work with. The fruit is developed and it is now, as you have seen, it's maturing the fruit. It has not yet reached to the point where they would actually turn black, but it's, it's getting there. So hopefully when next time we'll come back with this variety, we, we will be doing the, the, the harvest for the black breads. I hope you like this episode. Uh, uh, drop down your comments let us know what you think about all of these varieties uh, I have already made up my mind but uh, like I, I was telling to another fellow gardener the other day we do uh, chalk out a plan for the coming spring but then we had to you know kick in the last minute changes so we are formulating a plan for the next spring uh, that what we need to do when it comes to growing tomatoes again definitely Russian black term is one of the strongest uh, varieties that i've done and even this year is not uh, you know it has not stopped to amaze me so on that note we'll bid you goodbye uh drop us down uh, your thoughts in the comments and uh let us know what you think of all the varieties that we are doing stay safe wherever you are have a lovely morning afternoon evening and night goodbye